So these are gas destructor lamps, uh, so-called because originally they were designed to burn off methane from the sewers beneath the roads, uh, where there was a danger that the pocket might build up and it would become an explosive hazard. So the lanterns were designed to draw up the gas from beneath and then burn it in a gas mantle and uh, just let the exhaust gases go off through the top. They were scattered across the town. They, you won't find a cluster of them anywhere because they only put them where the pockets of methane were considered to be a problem within the sewers themselves. So it, it's a bit of a trek to go from one to another now. When there were 84 of them I guess perhaps you could go around any corner and see one but now to try and find one you do have to know where they are and, and work your way around them a little bit. The Methane was never at a high enough level to keep the lantern burning 24 hours a day, so they tended to go out, and the original designer, J.W. Webb, he then converted them so they were burning town gas, and the heat generated by that would cause a chimney effect and draw up the gases from the sewers beneath. We were asked by Amy to come in and have a look at these lanterns originally to see if there was something we could do uh, to convert them to solar power. They weren't intended as street lights as such, but they were there to do a, a gas destruction job. And um, so we weren't required to make them particularly bright, so we could run them on solar power and they come on at dusk and they turn off around midnight. And it is there purely for visual purposes that we have, you know, we've brought these back to life, but they look correct during the day and that was what um, Amy and uh, Historic England who were involved and listed these lanterns originally, uh, that's what they wanted. So we were able to put together a technology based on uh, a previous piece of equipment that we had designed which was solar powered and build that into these lanterns and uh, managed to get uh, the approval of Historic England and uh, that's what you see now.